किचनर विच ओंटारियो प्रोग्रेसिव कंजर्वेटिव पार्टी दे नेता डग फोर्ड ने किचनर वाटरलू खेतर अते ग्वेल्फ दे विचकार हाईवे सेवन दे एक नवे चार मार्गी पागनु बनाऊं दी अपनी पार्टी दी योजना दा ऐलान किता है ये योजना 18 किलोमीटर दे प्रोजेक्ट दा दूजा पड़ाव है जिस विचो दो नवे पुल शामिल ने जो हाईवे सेवन दे नवे हिस्से नो हाईवे 85 दिनाल जोड़ेंगे। a highway that is desperately needed, a highway that will reduce gridlock to get drivers out of their cars and home faster to spend more time with their families. We're saying yes, yes to a four-lane freeway between Kitchener and Guelph, yes to two new bridges over Grand River. My friends, we're saying yes to building Highway 7, to connecting Highway 7 to Conestoga Parkway because local families and workers have heard no for far too long. To my friends here in Kitchener, Waterloo and Guelph, let me remind you that the Liberals first promised to build Highway 7 back in 2007, a year before the first iPhone went on sale in Canada. But the Liberals delayed Highway 7 again and again and again. They delayed it in 2011, in 2013, 2014, and again in 2017. And nobody did more to block Highway 7 than Kathleen Wynne's hand-picked transportation minister, Stephen Del Duca. He was demanding more talk and talk and consultation in 2017, 10 years after the first environmental assessment was done. But that's not all. Even as they delayed the project for 15 years, the Del Duca Wind Liberals considered tolling Highway 7. They just can't be trusted to keep tolls off our roads and highways. Friends, everything you need to know about the Del Duca Wind Liberals can be summed up with one stat. The list of highways they want to cancel is longer than the list of highways they want to build. And as for Andy Horvath and the NDP, they're the party of saying no. No to absolutely everything, every new idea. It's a no. It's a no to progress. It's a no to building. The NDP are happier protesting roads than building them. They've never seen a regulation or a tax they didn't like. The Liberals and NDP, all they want to do is more talk and no action. We can't allow the Liberals to take us back, and we can't allow the NDP to hold us back. It's time to say yes to getting Highway 7 built. Along with your candies for Waterloo, Andrew and Andrew Atkin and Jim Schmidt. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Who have been hard to w at work on the doorsteps and in the community. Mike, Andrew, and Jim have been out sharing our positive vision with the people of Kitchener and Waterloo and Cambridge. And also, thanks to Jim Locke, President of Canadian Energy, for hosting us this morning. Together, we're tackling the hardest problems and delivering real solutions. That means rebuilding Ontario's economy with better jobs and bigger paychecks. It means keeping costs down for Ontario families and putting more money back into your pocket. It means working for workers as we get more people into the skilled trades. It means keeping our province and our economy open today and in the future. And it means saying yes to building highways and key infrastructure. 